Today, we're going to do something a little different. Found an old bridge. It's where they removed the old bridge when they fl flooded the lake. And there's fish on it. Let's find out what kind of fish these are. I think they're a bit crappy. Let's go and see. Okay, guys. You see the fish off this rock hump. What I think it is, is an old bridge. All right. Uh, I hope y'all can see that. I'm going to I'm gonna see now if I can catch one of them. I don't know if they're crappy yet. I just found them. And I, this is another spot. I've been here quite a few times and never caught a, not a caught a crappy. But, and been here, then there's nothing here. Today, it's fish here. And I've seen a couple where I think it's probably some perch here before. But I believe, I just believe, by the way, they're acting, they're crappy. But if not, now I've got closer to it. Y'all can see I'm 10 feet from it. So, I'm going to pitch my bait out there. Should be able to see my bait being this close to it. I got a tied jig on here. All right. See this little thing right here jump up and down? There's a fish after it already. Right there's my bait. Watch it. See the fish behind it? I just popped it above him. Now I'm going to tell you, if you overwork it, they won't pay any attention to it. Now not, not one of them has touched it yet. I'm going to let it fall on down a little further. Now I'm right there. I felt one bump it. He didn't take it, but I felt something touch it. See, it's right there above. No, they're not painting. There's one right there at it. Now I'm just tapping my rod. I'm not moving my line. I'm just, if y'all can hear it, I'm just tapping my rod just to make it shake. Now y'all can see my bait down there. Now watch it. Watch how much rod movement I give this thing. That's it. You see how far I moved that? You see my rod movement. That's it. That's all I moved that rod. They're not interested in other. What I was doing was tapping my rod like this. If you can see it, you see it. Watch it. Watch it sit there and shake. See it? See it moving up and down. That's all it takes. They're all about it, but they're not. They're all, they're all around. If you can watch them, they're paying attention to it, but they're not biting it. So that one even ran from it. So sometimes, guys, you think you're not around fish. Look at them. They're all, they're all around it, but they're not touching it. See, sometimes you think you're on fish and you can't get bit. That's what it is. Now, that could, again, they could be some perch. I think they're crappy by the way they're stocked there. I finally caught one. You can see them coming up on the death finder. Yep. Guess what? They're not crap. I wonder what they were. This one's not in it. Right? See what this one is? He's a little bass. Not unused. A lot of different colors. He's a small spotted bass. They're like that. And you know what? That still don't mean anything. Y'all have seen in other videos. I've caught, I've caught uh, bass when I'm trying to catch crappy. But when you're fishing for something that deep and that size, it's really hard to tell what they are. I was watching the action of the fish is what I was going by. And I still believe some of the rest of them down there are crappy. But that's the first one that's bit me and I've changed colors about three times. I've had them follow me. Alright guys, that's my fish I'm fighting right there, you see. We're going to find out what they are. They're crappy. That's what I thought. I thought they were big crappy guys. I've been fooling with these fish for an hour. And the reason I've been fooling with them guys, because here's what I thought. I thought they were big crappy. Exactly what I thought. Let's go to the back deck guys. I got the spot lock on. I thought they were big crappy and ain't. And <laughs> Man. Am I right? Look at this crappy. 
Cut him on a hair jig. Look at that, guys. Gotta love the thump, don't you? Cut him on old hair jig. I done tried different things. Look at that one. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gosh, that's why I figured they were a bit crappy. I mean, nice crappy. He's 15 inches. Right, guys, those, those are crappy. That's why I just caught the one off of. That's an old bridge piling. You can hear I'm right next to a road. Because that's where the bridge was before they built the lake. And uh, there's my bait. You can finally see my bait there. I finally got it in there. You got to have it in. Now, somebody comment, somebody commented on my video that, uh, that the cone angle is 20%. So, now, when that comes down to footage, I haven't thought much about it, but it probably is only in the, I reckon it'll get a little bit water as it goes, but I've been saying four foot, you see how big that old bridge impoundment is? It'd have to be 15, 20 foot wide at least, maybe, maybe wider. All right, let me get back out there. You see the fish kicking around there? Let's see if I can get it back in the strike zone. We caught the one off of there. I caught a bass and a crappy now. And I've caught both of them on the crappy baits. And I tried to drop shot for a little bit, uh, guys, and I tried to put a crappy bait on it, on one hook. And my hook might have been a little big because I really wasn't planning on doing that. <laughs> and uh, on the other hook, I put a crappy uh, a, a rubber worm on it. And uh, they, they bumped it. That was it. I got some. Oh, 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 I think I had a bump, guys. I got a few bumps, and that was it on it. Usually, once you get them fired up, we can catch some of them. Ah, I seen him hit it. See that fish hit? Oh, I got a cotton patrol there. I don't know if y'all seen that or not. That one fish turned there in the water. I turned him when I set the hook. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to switch colors. That was ice out. That's one of my favorite colors. I'm gonna lay it over here. You can say I lay the old baits over here. I might pick it up. Well, now here's real shad. That is pretty deep. There's the color I was using. Um, albino. I want something with a little color to it. Let's go with this one right here. The fish will be 12 foot deep. This water has some color to it. Let's go with this purple. It's called purple uh, mist. Yeah. Purple mist. All right. And guys, here's a tip too. If you can keep these things straight, I'm right next to a road here, guys. Like I said, I'm fishing an old bridge. I think that's an old bridge under the water. Um, if you can keep them straight in that package, you're better off. Okay, folks, there's some good live scope shots. You can see the old bridge, you can make it down. There was a piece of cement or a ramp that came up something the bridge could set on. <clears throat> there was two of them there. One of them had a few fish on it. The other half, on the other side of the old creek channel, had the fish hold on. So we was able to catch a few of them. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, my name is Dennis. This is Fish Lake Country. Just trying to share some things with you. I think you'll be interested in. Maybe something to help you down the road become a better fisherman. Hey, subscribe, hit the like button, help us grow on Fish Lake Country. See you next time, guys.